Hello to my channel Chinese Star Today we will bring you the following hot and exciting news. Xiao Sun's domineering appearance in China film news. It was revealed that the film is being carefully produced and will be released globally. Recently, many online media are reporting on the new movie The Legend of the Condor Hero starring Xiao Sun and Zhang Dafei. Even the young actor Xiao Sun was featured in the China film news. The official details about the film include a lot of information, including the fact that the film is being carefully produced and will be released to the audience soon. It is worth mentioning that Legend of the Condor Heroes, as a major production, will be released simultaneously around the world. This is Xiao Zan's influence. It is reported that young actor Xiao Zan appeared in the China film News Domineer Inle. The official revealed that the new movie The Legend of the Condor Heroes starring Xiao Zan is already in fine production and the post-production work has not yet been completed. It will be released at this special time in 2024. Choose the most appropriate opportunity to release it. After all, 2024 coincides with the 100th anniversary of the birth of teacher Jin Yuang. For Xiao Zan, as an international superstar, he is a powerful actor who is famous all over the world. It is not surprising that Xiao Zan's works have been exported abroad, and it is even more reasonable for this movie to be released simultaneously around the world. Judging from the response from fans, everyone was very happy to see such a grand scene. They also expressed their expectations. They hope it can be released earlier and can't wait to go to the cinema to support it. Xiao Zan is a truly capable actor. He is also a positive idol who is extremely focused and very responsible and rigorous in his work. Xiao Zan's works are trustworthy and Xiao Zan's performance has never disappointed the audience. Congratulations to Xiao Zan and looking forward to Xiao Zan. Some time has passed since 2024, and Xiao Zan has brought a lot of good news one after another. Whether it is the new movie or the new drama The Legend of Tibetan Sea, the audience's hearts are filled with excitement. Xiao Zan has also begun to go international. Legend of the Condor Heroes intends to enter the global market and is not scheduled to be released during the Spring Festival this year. It is a bit regrettable for the audience. However, Fu Ruoking, chairman of China Film Group not long ago, revealed in an interview that the to the martial arts film The Legend of the Condor Heroes, The Great One, directed by director Sui Hark and co-starring Xiao Zan and Zhang Dafri, has officially been completed and the film has been confirmed to be released this year. The Legend of the Condor Heroes can be said to be one of the most anticipated movies by domestic audiences this year, because it is the second martial arts movie directed by Sui Hark after six years and the first time he directed it after 20 years participated in the production of Jin Yong's martial arts movie again after many years. Coupled with Xiao Zan, the most popular traffic star in the domestic market in recent years, and Zhang Dafri, a young actress who has just become popular with the annual party Can't Stop, many people think this is a king combo. This film will become a hit once it is released. In fact, at the beginning, the audience was not very optimistic about the movie The Legend of the Condor Heroes, The Greatest Hero, he ran after referred to as The Greatest Hero. After all, The Legend of the Condor Heroes is the most famous martial arts novel written by Jin Yong. Before this film, many domestic film and television workers adapted the novel into film and television dramas, among which Wang Rihua's version in 1983 is the most classic. What's more, Xiao Zan is still a popular actor whose acting skills have not been widely recognized. The audience is worried that he will not be able to perform the kind of chivalry of the protagonist Guo Jing and that he will not be able to perform Guo Jing's simple and upright nature, filial piety, diligence and patriotism chivalrous spirit. However, in recent years, Xiao Zun's progress in acting skills has been obvious to all, and his image is very suitable for ancient costumes, and he seems to have some chivalry in him. What's more, the greatest hero also has the blessing of the famous Chinese martial arts film director Sui Hark, so this film may become a high-quality martial arts masterpiece. Also. Director Sui Hark once again directs a Jin Yong martial arts movie after so many years. It is not just a whim, there is also a certain ambition in it. It can be said that The Great One is aiming to become the box office champion of global martial arts movies, and it will also enter the global market. Recently, it was reported that The Greatest Man is likely to be promoted globally, which means that in addition to China, the film will also land in overseas markets such as North America. Martial arts movies have always been a genre that is unique to China. Our martial arts movies have also shined in the international market. For example, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon directed by Ang Lee that year earned 1.28 in the North American market billion dollar box office. 
Although the greatest man may not necessarily be comparable to Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the former will definitely have a market in mainland China, and it will certainly be able to create relatively impressive box office results overseas. In this way, this film is likely to surpass Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon and become the box office champion of global martial arts movies on March 5th. The chairman of China Film Group revealed that the filming of The Great Condor Heroes has been completed and the editing is in the advanced stage. It is expected to be released within the year. He also stated that the film is preparing for simultaneous global release. The film stars Xiao Zan as Guo Jin and Zhang Dafei as Wang Rong. It is directed by Sui Hark and produced by China Film. A big director, big production and big flow is a lineup that can be called a national team. The male protagonist Ziozan has red lips and white teeth. He is relatively delicate among male stars. He has a slender figure and has the air of a handsome young man. Ancient costumes, from Chang Kuang Ling to Yugu Yao Iao, all follow the root of appearance. This time he played Guo Jing, and the producer gave him high praises such as good action scenes and good costumes. The only thing that worries people is whether Ziozan's too delicate appearance can portray Guo Jing's honesty and how he can be physically strong and slightly clumsy. This version of Wang Rong is Zhang Dafei. In comparison, Zhang Dafei even feels stronger than Xiao Zan. Zhang Dafei's facial features are strong and foreign, and she has the face of a heroine, but relatively speaking, her temperament comes first, and her appearance is not feminine enough. In ancient costumes, she was once jokingly called the boss of women's clothing. Looking at Zhang Dafei's previous costume styles, there is a big gap between them and delicate ones. In comparison, Xiao Zan is obviously more delicate. However, Sui Hark's skills are worthy of belief. Under his lens, many actresses have been brought out their most beautiful side. I hope Zhuang Daifui can finally make everyone shine. The Condor is a classic of Jin Yong's works and is a remake. Time and time again, let's take a look at the past versions of Guo Jing and Ranger, which version is the most restored. Next, let us delve into the performance of Guo Jing and Wang Rong in each version, compare the differences between actors and the degree of character restoration, and explore the classics of each work 83 is considered the most classic version. TVB was at its peak back then, and martial arts dramas were in the limelight again. The TV station had sufficient manpower and material resources, and future big names such as Ng Mang Tat, Wu Yang Shenhua, and Stephen Chow all had small roles in the dramas. Master Jin Yong is still there and personally participated in the selection of the main characters, so the quality is guaranteed. Screenwriter Chang Guanin created based on Jin Yong's original work, making this version of The Condor full of strong TVB style, with fast pace, distinctive characters and smooth plot, which also gave the actors a lot of room to play. The two actors' emotional expression and character creation have received widespread praise and have become classic images in the minds of many viewers. Wang Rong played by Wang Mealing, is cute and charming, with smart and proud eyebrows, which is an obvious contrast with Guo Jing, played by Wang Rihua. Especially the first time she dressed up as a woman, her smile when she opened the curtain on the bow of a boat, touched people's hearts directly. None of the scenes like this in so many movies and TV dramas since then have surpassed hers. Wang Mealing's lively and charming character and Wang Rihua's simplicity and character positioning perfectly match each other. The two are a perfect match. But the reason why the 1983 version is remembered is because of Wang Mealing's own tragic fate. Willful, suspicious, sensitive, intelligent, she herself also possesses many of Wang Rong's character traits, but unfortunately, she chose a completely different life choice. In the 11th edition, Zhu Yun and Zhang Xilin represented Guo Jing and Wang Rong in different interpretations. Comma, although it is different from the classics in appearance and temperament, it has won the appreciation of some audiences 11 years later. TVB refilmed The Condor, with Zhu Yun playing Wang Rong and Julian Chun playing Guo Jing. This version does not lose in terms of looks, the 23-year-old Julian Chun is even better than Wang Rihua. But also because he is too handsome, this version of Guo Jing is more like Yang Kang, without the roughness and honesty of the desert boy. This version of Zhu Yun's Wang Rong puts on women's clothing, and the beauty of the shot slowly coming from the boat is not inferior to that of Wang Mealing. Comparing the two versions, we can see that actors of different generations have completely different effects on their understanding and expression of the characters. In the hearts of the audience, each actor has left his or her own unique mark, giving the classics a new charm. The 2003 version of Li Yapping and Zhou Soon was quite controversial in terms of costume and styling. Wang Rong, 
played by Jo Soon, was considered to lack the elegance and gracefulness of the martial arts world, while Guo Jing, played by Li Yapin, was too literary and artistic, which was somewhat inconsistent with the character setting. In contrast, the 2008 Hu Jie and Ariel Ariel version showed a more obvious idol drama style. However, Hu Jie's arrogant and willful temperament was far from Guo Jing's image, so it suffered some criticism. These two versions are also controversial in terms of character restoration and audience recognition, and each has its supporters and opponents. The 2017 version of Li Yidan and Yang Zuan may not be well known, but it performs well in terms of texture and actor feeling. Yang Zuan's handsome ancient costume adds new vitality to the character, showing a rare and honest temperament. In contrast, Michelle and Baibao's version was controversial due to the actor's appearance during the early filming, and it became an alternative attempt. The correlation between Michelle's stubbornness and Baibao's fierce appearance and character image also aroused the audience's thinking and discussion. The actors of The Condor in the past have brought different styles and interpretations of Guo Jing and Wang Rong to the audience, and each version has left a unique mark. Whether it is the classic 1983 version or a modern reinterpretation, every actor has shown the charm and soul of the character in the context of his own era. How the future The Condor heroes will break the existing inherent perceptions and present a brand new audiovisual feast is worthy of the audience's expectations. In the minds of movie fans, can Guo Jing and Wang Rong, played by Xiao Zan and Zhang Dafri, once again refresh the audience's imagination of this character? Regardless of whether it meets the audience's expectations or not, we must remember that the legend of the Condor heroes will always belong to Mr. Jin Yong's work, and every actor who plays Guo Jing and Wang Rong just continues to write his own chapter in it. Each version of the Condor has its own unique charm. Let's explore the role interpretations of different actors in this classic story and feel the emotional collision and thinking they bring to us. In the movie world, the birth of each version is an exploration and attempt, and it is also the actor's tribute and presentation of classics. As an audience, we should respect the efforts and performance of each actor and keep an open mind to appreciate different versions of the legend of the Condor heroes. Because every remake brings us new thoughts and emotions. In different eras and environments, classics still shine with their own light. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our support channel.